What's going on, sailors? Player Chaos here. You're Commodore with World of Warships once more. Um, I am going to be giving the waiters a go. DD seven. If you know about this, DD seventy five was the designation. These are American destroyers that were made for World War One, and they got to about DD one hundred and sixty five or somewhere around there. These are eh, relatively new at the time. These are more. These are made in response to torpedo boats in eighteen sixty five. And considering we got lots of self propelled torpedoes around that age, especially in the Spanish American War, that's when this ship came about. It's nearly out of date, but then think about it, it's. Uh, it's kind of in time for this game, I suppose. Um, Theodore Roosevelt is meant to have himself issued an urgent report saying, we need this type of ship, we need other things that can sink torpedo boats. Now, these were built over a long period of time. And they actually got decommissioned. They actually were starting to stop being built by 1921. Production began in 1971. That's four years of production. They're in commission by the U.S. Navy, 1918 until 1946 in just the U.S. Navy. A lot of these were actually relatively successful because of the war coming in the second year. The U.S. actually ended up getting a lot more of these. And this is getting about with the Naval Appropriation Act of 1916, which called for a Navy second to none capable of protecting both the Atlantic and Pacific coasts. The act, uh, this is one of the main ship protections from that. It got 50 from that one act. And the General Board asked for more to combat submarine threat, resulting in, in total, 267 Wicks and Clemson. And the Clemson class is the class after this, I believe, if I'm right. Yeah, Two, uh, 267 of the Wicks and the Clemson class. The design of the ship remained optimised for operation with battleship fleets. This is also alongside 10 battleships, which were never finished as far as I'm aware. Six Lexington class battlecruisers, a lot of those were cancelled and got repurposed into uh, carriers. 10 Omaha class scout cruisers, and 50 of these during the initial one. If you have heard of the destroyers for base agreement, back when um, uh, Britain was under siege during the Battle of Britain, we desperately, uh, Britain desperately asked for destroyers and the like. While America wasn't prepared to give us them, they were giving, willing to give us more torpedo boats, uh, battleships, that kind of thing. That wasn't what Britain needed. We asked for destroyers because we need to combat the submarine threat that's wrecking our shipping. These are the ships that America sent. Wix classes. The Wix class has served a long time. It's probably the longest serving ship in the Navy entirely. From 1918 to 1946, as I said before. And it does actually it actually does well considering its age. I mean it is a beautiful vessel. You can actually see some of the old marks of it from the old eras. Um, these got sent to the uh, Soviet Navy as well as part of Lend Lease. And I can't remember what they formed, so I'll have to get back to you on that one. So let's get over to it, what it's got, shall we? First off, it has it has a good, decent armour for the destroyer. It has 900 HP, a tier 3 isn't bad, but it's not exactly good. Armour at most is 13. This is the destroyer, it actually relies on not being hit. So you, your speed is armour. If you've seen me play my cruisers back in the British, you know what this means. This means we need to evade the hits as opposed to, to stay up and stand up and fight. Surprise is the way to win. As for our weaponry, we have a set of four of our main gun, the the 102mm 50 cal guns, at 12. There are two at the front, if, I can, if the camera will go around. Yes, two, two of the sensors, sorry. Uh, how do I get this off? I forget how you get off this thing, and one on each side. So you can always always have three guns pointed either way. Moving on, our torpedoes. These we have four of uh, three, four triple barrel or triple barrel triple tube torpedo tubes, so firing 533 millimeters. These are generally a decent time reload, decent turn time. But the damage is quite low, consider. But then for this tier, it's actually very decent. The speed is decent as well. Same with the torpedo range. As for anti-air, a tier three shouldn't really be expecting that much anti-air. Most you can face is Langley's, but no, Langley's and probably tier five carriers. 
So it has two M1 Brownings, M2 Brownings. These are the most probably the most famous machine guns ever wore. One's here, and one his sister is on the other side. And one of oh, of these things, a 76 mm 23 76.2 mm 23 caliber M Mark 7. Generally speaking, these aren't that good of range. This thing's going to engage before your Brownings do. This does one damage a second, this does one damage a second. So, generally speaking, this is not very good for anti air combat. What you do have, however, is a maneuverability. Maximum speed of 34 knots. It takes 510 meters to turn full circle. And turning to, and the turn to get your, shield, your rudder from straight port to straight starboard is 3.5 seconds. That's actually very good for this tier. That's actually very good for a destroyer. So you get a good speed out of it, which emphasises your speed as army doctrine. As for concealment, we are actually quite well hidden. We're not going to be seen by anti air until it's nearly in our range. And we're not going to be seen by surface ships until we're in, we've got a decent range on our guns. As for weapons, we have a we have the whole upgrade. Uh, sorry, as for the modules, we have 2600 horsepower, which gives us 34 knots. We have the Mark III radio, which gives us a firing range of 9.2 kilometers. The, the upgrade to the hull doesn't actually. I think it's just it gives you HP, well, and an extra AA gun, which isn't that much. The main and well, the main guns aren't that aren't actually that powerful. But again, this is a destroyer. It's meant to be speed as armor. It's meant to torpedo the enemy. As for upgrades, on one side you have your AA guns, your main battery modifications, and your torpedo tube modifications. These mostly revolve around repair times and chance of being damaged. So, kind of useful. And the second lot we'll get here are modifications to your propulsion and damage control, as long as steering. Again, these are to negate the chance of it being damaged, and in the case of fire control, the flooding and reduce the chance of fire. When you're facing this thing, you are going to be pumping HE at it. You can penetrate it with HE, I believe. Uh, HE penetration. Does it actually say? Oh, I'll bet it was better. But yeah, 8.6 shells a minute per gun, which isn't bad, but it's not exactly good. We fire the 102mm HE HC cell, Mark 15, and 102mm APSC shell. Eh, not bad, not bad. This is literally the emphasis of speed is armor. This thing will not take a hit. This thing cannot take too many hits. Keep your distance, work with your allies, and blow the enemy up with your torpedoes. So I'm going to show you how to, what, what I play it as. And yes, I have to thank the Kitsukami for showing me how to play as a torpedo thing. I knew it was a good choice getting that thing. I actually really am enjoying the ship. It's it's actually playing the a lot more now. After uh, things are on. Hello. Right, what have we got? We've got one carrier at least. A Langley, sweet, that's good. And um, Mansk. So, out of this ship, we have nine sunken bell, five sunk as targets, and seven of that was sunk in other means. Ninety were scrapped by the end of World, uh, by the 1946. That was all of them. These things by World War II standards were eh, kind of out of date. Generally speaking, you have a decent ship here. Decent. That has one, a complement of 100 soldiers of people, so 100 sailors rather. So the, it's not a bad ship by any means. It's not good for it for the World War II standard though. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that Britain needed destroyers, I wouldn't be surprised the Wicks would have been scrapped entirely. Because I know they were actually scrapping a lot of them by the time World War II came about in America. So let's get you on, shall we? Loads. This was getting steadily replaced by the Arleigh Burke class destroyer in World War One and World War Two. They shouldn't have been around, really. Right, a stretch. Oh yeah, how many computers do we have? Okay. I think I still prefer cruising than seeing the others, but I like being able to stand on fire. I like mobility and firepower, which is why I don't really play battleships or heavy tanks often. As for uh, as for 
Battle well, battleships I like because they have a lot of firepower, but I don't like being too slow. I like mobility, hence why I like British tanks in World Tanks. I don't mind not having armor as long as I can fight. Right, let's get into this. So one of the key things about this is to play to your allies, work with them, and play to choke points. We have 4.5 kilometers of range of our torpedoes. That's extremely close range for torpedo this, um, type anyway. For torpedo uh, range anyway. That's the word I'm looking for. That said, this isn't bad range. It will do the damage. <coughs> There's a destroyer over here already. It's probably. I won't be surprised that. Yes, yeah, same class as me. Yeah, no. I'm just saying, you, that's 6 kilometers away. Let's just show you how close 4.5 kilometers is. It's going to be hard to get them in that range and keep safe. But again, use your allies. They'll form a distraction for you. Play to that. You are way too close to that, mate. He's going to eat them. Christ. Get in there. Target here, sweet. Both right over the back. Yeah, he's after me now. I can't risk torpedoes because now they're behind him, so. Shit, 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 disgusting. I'm alive. I never claim to be skilled. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is this is understanding. Topia's aren't exactly the best thing to work with in the world. That's a cruiser. See if we can take out the engine. Too high. Fire, that's a good one. Come on, come on. Straddled. If we're lucky, I'm going to get a torpedo attack on him. Oh, sweet, that's a good one. Yes, let's keep going. Uh, do they have a carrier still? They don't. What's this joke we're up to? Allied. There's an enemy behind me though. I need to get out of here. Went at full speed? What? Oops, too high. Let's see, can we get a torpedo spray on them? Left. 
That's better. Took a gun out too. Turn on. Try to assist the allies in the centre. Fuck. So guys really want me down. Yeah, an easier kill, obviously. Or not? Really? I'm getting these guys over here. Oh, they're both over there. Okay. Let's get in there. Probe's first screen. Oh, what's that? So there's always this guy over here who's directly in front of me. That's not a good snap. To sneak up on him. He's seen me. That's not a good snap. Speed his armor, speed his armor. Yeah, he's having a tough time hitting me. Yeah, let's go in for do it. Let's go in for a r risky one. For a lucky, we can actually get a good uh, shot on him. If we're not well, let's not think about that right now. How many do we have? Two per side. This gonna be risky. Okay, uh, that put lots of ways as well. He's gonna be waiting for me. I'll speed his armor, please. Like Let's go, 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 go. Oh, God, it's gonna be a hit. Sweet. Enemy heavily damaged. <laughs> That's how we do it. Two, three torpedo hits, two cause flooding. Um, and two, do too badly. And my uh, credit experience for that were big profit. We're in profit either way. Fifteen torpedoes launched, three hit. To be fair, three hit that actually makes it money worth anyway. So let's keep going. So the Wix is the, when that's actually okay. Just a quick history lesson for you. When they came around to the development of the tank for the British, it was actually a division of the Admiralty that actually brought along the tank. It began as a navy idea. Which is why you see um, subscribe to more naval um, ideals. We get the battleship, the big bruiser that's slow with the big guns, and the cruiser. The, the cruiser tank, the cruiser tank, which has the speed and speed's armor. Problem is, with them they flipped up the weapons as well. So the big guns on the small tank, the small ta the small guns on the big tank. And apparently they don't have HE, so you know that's no issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these things served all over. This is probably one of the most, uh, it's probably one of the most notable World War One designs, just for how long it la how long it lasted. And these things were really scrapped after World War Two, for God's sake, fully. Right, so. Uh, Langley, Carrier, Miyogi's are the big threats. Yeah. Miyogi's are the biggest threats to me right now, so I need to get some broadsides on them. Good news is we're actually going to be more organised because we have a, platoon, a division. It's not platoon in this game, it's amazing. I 
I think I'll do like more than one of these a day. Like get one of these out a day and see what happens. So I'm I'm really enjoying this game. Let's get full steam. Let's go lads. So yeah, bomb is already out. Uh, is that a fighter class over there? Yes. So Langley, uh, Langley. Yeah, Langley's already deployed. All right, I'll work with this destroyer and this and this guy. Uh, you are Chikuma. You're a Wix. Yeah. Oh, need didn't know. that give you time to travel? Cruiser side. Right, let's see what we can do then. Season range of a one or two. Firing. I can't see him. Another destroyer up ahead. So we're heading right towards the to destroyer. Yeah, I have a habit of playing destroyers too riskily. So yeah, I kind of went it wrong on that front. Oh well. I guess while we wait, I can grab a new ship. Yeah, I'll grab a new ship while we're waiting. I'll give you a bit more history on the Kirkami. And this guy can level up. Ah, uh, that means I can give him, is that? This way I'll give you... Yes. Um... Oh, you're in battle, so you can't do anything. So, let's grab the Kitakami, and I can give you a bit more history behind it. So, um, yeah, it's sister ship, the Oi, the uh, you know if I can say it again. Um, it's sister ship is, was another prototype of this, but the Oi was used as a troop transport, and they, 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 strapped, they, scripted, they took all the guns, the torpedoes off it. And use that as crew space. Well, I say crew space, transport space. The only problem was it kind of was the point where they didn't actually what they weren't actually going overseas. They were just holding the ground at that point. So troop transport cruiser wasn't actually needed. You just need to get the ground in the first place. So I kind of see what Japan was trying to do, but then, meh. Yeah. I mean, the torpedo cruiser is a brilliant idea. Oh, there's nothing here. Hmm, it's a glitch or something. <laughs> Just fighting me, destroyers and cruisers, protect allies on the aircraft flag. Yeah, and bombard the crap out of them with friggin' missile <laughs> torpedoes. Like, you're calling them missiles! <sighs> oh, excuse me, I gotta I'll, I'll tap out at some point to check what time I'm at, because I don't want to record too long. I uh, don't want to be too noisy because it is currently early in the morning. Doesn't look like you can find anyone. Alright, uh, let's think. Uh, how are we going to do this then? Go watch your family game now. As soon as I click that, it finds your game. Nope, didn't. Alright. And this is still a beautiful ship. I mean, look at it, it's amazing. It's 
It's amazing. It's amazing what, that this thing was made for war, you know. Right. So let's go. Let's go this one, shall we? This is the Ubari. You might recognise it from one of Jingles videos. Um, Jingles actually has gone over this cruiser before. This is actually the last. Uh, oh, I might rehash some of the stuff you said before. So if you think, think you want a better explanation, go and find his video. But the Ubari is essentially this is the third form of it. The first form it had more guns, uh, more anti-ship guns. But then as the war got further on, and they found that American air power is what was doing the damage, they decided to put more anti-air on it, and eventually you get what you have here. The Ubari is pretty much a. Hey, on, let's see. It's pretty much a design concept. Yeah. One of the things that's unique about the hull is that normally you build the hull and then you bolt the steel on it. To keep this cruiser being maneuverable and agile and such, the hull is the armor. That's one of the main major things about the Ubari. It has no hull armor whatsoever. So let's go over its stats. Well, it has a lot apparently hull armor on the Citadel. The gun casements, the armored deck, nowhere else. It's weak. But the health is good for tier 4. The artillery, the guns themselves, we have quite a lot to go from. The main battery is two sets of two 140mm 50 cal 3rd year type guns. This one here. And we've got another one back here. Our secondary armaments are two 120mm 45 cal 10th year type modification B guns. This is one of them. And that's the only one we got. So this thing is not made to engage enemy ships. It has a spray of torpedoes just in case. We have two se we have two sets of double torpedo uh, 610 twins, type 93 s One here. The other one is here. So you can put that on either side. Our anti-air is where we're the be we're best. This ship has the best anti-air for its tier. We have eight sets of 25 mm 60 cal type 96s. One, there's se so, several here, as you can see. There are. The game will let me like, get out of this. It should do it soon. There's four here, as you can see. That's a triple mount, by the way. That's the. Uh, nope, I can't find it anymore. Game, I want to just do this again. Oh, that's good. That's another one. You can see four here. It's one in the back, apparently. I actually, know there's one in the back. That's news to me. Another one next door. With a top loader. That's not a good start, but so. One here. With the aiming, with the fancy aiming sights, you can see. Two there. And the one here. So it's four on front, four, it's four on front, four on back. We also have four of the 25 mm 60 cal Type 96s on the centre. One is here, and a sister is on the other side, as you can see. And the other two are right here, as you can see. We also have three triple Type, uh, the same thing, 25 mm 60 cal. One is here. One is on the other side, here. And its cousin is over here. When we have the big one, 120 meter 45 cal type, the 10th year mod type V. The big gun. This gun is twin purpose, dual purpose. It will be anti air or it will be anti ship. Depends on what you want it to do. However, this ship has the best anti air for tier 4 and, and actually quite competent among tier 5s. Its maneuverability, however, is, however, as opposed to normal cruisers, is actually really respectable. Maximum speed of 35 knots. The uh, destroyer, the Wix, has 36. So, yeah, kind of respectable. Turning circle rate is 690 meters. Well, that's expected. Really shift time is very good at 5 seconds, going from port to starboard. Concealment isn't that good, but then again, this is a cruiser. It could be detected from the sea, but from 9.9 9 kilometers away. Air detectability range is 4.7 kilometers away. Now, if we look at the guns, well, the module sorry, we have the main battery composed of 140mm 50 cal type 3s with a range of, uh, this thing, with a range of 12.8 kilometers. The bio hull itself is respectable. Two main turrets, two torpedo tubes, one secondary gun, met turret, and an AA mount. 
16 AM ounce. We have the torpedoes, which take um, about uh, 60 seconds to reload. The speed is respectable, but the range is about American standard. And the speed of the ship itself is respectable. So it's a, it's a really respectable ship. The upgrades, however, are where you're going to be the landing. So we, we can improve our anti air, we can improve our main battery, we can do them, as a modification to upgrade them, and these damage controls. This ship is. I, I keep saying it's beautiful, because I, I can't stop saying that, but there was a lot of really modern stuff, really unique design features to this. I mean, the, um, instead of being multiple smokestacks, you have a single one, because all the smoke is channeled into this. It goes through the entire frame. So it makes it less hard, it makes it harder to find. So this ship is probably the best anti-air you'll find at Tier 4. It's also one of the pre-order uh, pre ships that I got. Now, if you don't get them before they go off sale, they are gone for about a year, and then that's when you start getting access to them again. So I'm going to take this out for a spin. And hopefully we'll run into air power. Hopefully we'll run into some sort of air power, but you know, I'm not keeping my hopes up. There is a lot of history of these ship classes. Oh, hello. Uh, four aircraft carriers. Well, five aircraft carriers. This could be fun. Nope. No aircraft carriers. Typical. Who's a Grim? Yachi, Clemson, Omar, Phoenix, St. Louis, Koachi, Saipan. Yeah, it's all cruisers. And it's cruisers, destroyers, and battleships. Shame, really. Yeah. All right. Into it, shall we? We'll see oh, is this map sweet? So this map is just wide open. There's no cover at all. It's I love this map. It's also best if you've got torpedoes. So there's, there's no choke points. There's no place to hide. You literally just aim and fire. So you're relying on your destroyers to give you smoke screens. Like you think he's lying there and he's lying under him. Uh, oh, there is a carrier. Sweet. Who's the carrier? Is that the Saipan? The Omaha. It's you. Huh. I didn't realize Saipan was a carrier. Oh, well, I'm at home then. Let's find, let's find some air targets to shoot down. Ah, 
Yeah, yeah. See you, Barry. Okay. You have missed the time. Yep. Sailing into enemy lines. Play too risky <laughs> every single time. I love careers, but I've got to learn to take like, calculated risks for once. Hey. Yeah, I haven't got the weights back in yet. It's taking that long. Just give me a sec, folks. I'll see how long I've taken. Uh, OBS, you're already open. Do, do, do. I hope OBS is open after all this. To get this one something, hey, I wasn't recording any of that. Eh. If I can see the whole thing, it'd be nice. Let's get back in while we're in. Up to. Yeah, we'll do one more battle. Um, should we get coming back? Yeah, let's get the kick coming. For laughs. I'm getting better at this thing. I actually I'm actually started learning what you're meant to do. So I can engage my typically just 10 kilometers away. It's probably the peak of my range. Um, yeah, we're gonna get game from this. So just I keep uh, the thing is I like going in close and then blasting them in close quarters like shotgun them. But you're not meant to do that with torpedoes. You're meant to either zone them or um, snipe them. So if you can zone them, that's perfect. Do like a few spreads of them. It's very hard to dodge if you can if you're lucky. You get at them. Of course, then you get things like the shoyers that just go, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Cleveland class, Atlanta class, two Sims, Omaha, two Congos. Congos are probably the biggest threat. Those battle cruisers are actually quite available. And yes, the battle cruisers, I'm not calling them anything apart from that. Even though, yeah, the Congo class is actually quite awesome. I love it. Do 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 do. I was playing a game earlier and, um. I think I've signed out, so just ignore it. I was playing a game earlier with a friend of mine. It's gonna get annoying. Sorry, guys, I probably didn't expect the Skype to go off. I was playing a game earlier with a friend of mine, and he was in a battleship, I was in a destroyer. 
and we got going. And I actually ended up in front of him because I was going towards the target, he was aiming. And I kind of went, no, so then, no, look where you're going, no, no, as I getting pushed along. I was like, huh, what? Oh, sorry. There we go, we're in. So, trick to play the Kizakami. Play it safe. Your torpedoes have a range of 10 kilometers. Predict where they're going to go from there. It's kind of tricky to pull off. With me, anyway. <laughs> See if they got a joke. Nope. Does not like a joke. So no carriers, two battleships, three cruisers, me and the destroyer. I think I can give him the place. Something, something. Ducks. Side, right, right on it. Way too far for me right now. That destroyer's gonna get himself killed if he's not careful. I can see him back here, but I can't see him in that. He might be on W like that. God. Ah! He's out! Ow! That's not the Congo. That's not the Congo. Oh my god. Ow, come on, really? That was not that light. That must have been the uh, Kizakami class. It was, sweet. I need to get this fire put out, I need to get myself ready for the never run. I'm being chased. That's what I realized, done. Yeah, I need to get my own plan done. Turn the ship around, man! Turn! Faster, you useless slobs! So you know that means where you're 7.4, you're 10.3. Yeah, let's get some torpedo down. Oh dear. Who we got left? Uh, that hit a Kami's down, they've got two Congos. Some Congos, that hit me. I'm stuck. There, I think right now, oh, this last choice are good, dude. Yep, I see a choice are good. We're lucky. I'll hit something. I am so hoped. Let's just see these. Come on, please hit, please hit, please hit. I bet they're too far away. Oh. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. That is going to hit the Congo because it's too, it's too far away. Yeah, 
Makes me a profit because I think uh, Kitagami is a um, menu boat. Yeah, sounds. Oh, does that sound? Because <laughs> uh, if, if I get, I seem to get like a multiplier or something with it because it doesn't seem like I can have a bad game in it unless I don't do anything. I mean, I got a kill there. That's gonna make me profit. There we go. You bar is back and the wicks are back. Wicks. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, grab the wicks again. Get the wicks, please, sir. Yes, I can. Thank you all. Yeah, I'll do. Ah, let's do that stuff faster. It's going to be the best thing. Yep. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Can I get any jewels? How much do I need for the clones? 4,000. Let's do, okay, we'll do one more game and we'll call this episode. Let's see what I, I think my... I, the our goal for this is by the end of the beta, I want a Yamato. And that's probably what I'm going to work hardest to get. And the kit economy is going to give me free, loads of free XP, it's just I've got to spend gold or tokens or whatever the gold to get there. It's just going to be a pain in my ass, but yeah, we expect. Uh, New Dawn. Uh, not a bad map. Can't play it carefully though. Does this one can go wrong quickly? There's a Langley, two Karachis and a Miyogi. Chester, Takuma, St. Louis and a Wix. Um, yeah, I want to head south. Here's the choke points down there. Beat of evil. Biggest threat is the battleships. That's now the battleships. That's I Jenkins put that on that side of it. That's yours, sir. That's Jenkins. Sir, it's your side, I'm just giving it back to you. Thank you, Jenkins. So, I need to play less risky. I mean I do like doing my high risk, high reward stuff, but a lot of time it just doesn't pay off. Which you know can be a bit of a pain when it ends up you getting dead. Dead it. There's going to be no one in here for that side. That's a Enemy team has taken the lead.
Our team has taken the lead. Surprise. Weapon did not. destroyed. Targets on your yeah. Got one sink, three. Oh, I see. Three? Do you want to tell me that? Oh, that's the one they bought. <laughs> uh, no battleships left or cruisers. I am heavily damaged, but I can still fight. I want to try and get that carrier. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got left. St. Louis is nearly dead, and Chester, who is actually quite well for himself. St. Louis to them, I can tell you what's going to happen, so... I'm sailing right towards a cruiser. And that was missed entirely. It's <laughs> Job done. Yeah, I kind of messed that one up, but still. Uh, free torpedo hits, free floods, and destroy. Destroy the battleship. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's worth a little bit. 
kind of messed up too often. So, right. On that note, uh, record this. Received seven. Record one hundred fifty-five. Received ten. Really? Yeah. I have no idea. Well, then, folks. On that note, I have to call this part here. So, I thank you all for watching. I have been the Lurk House, and subscribe if you want to see more World of Warships. Um, leave me a like and comment below. I will. I do really want to do more on this game. I'm enjoying this so damn much. <laughs> I mean, where else can I have 40 t 20 torpedoes in the water at one time? <laughs> I've never had so much fun with Navy, ever. And I, people can tell me, like, pick up um, naval, ac naval action, you might enjoy that. And I'm just like, nah, I'm just a bit of a problem with it. I'm not a subscriber to uh, the age of sailing, that kind of thing. But still, where was I? Oh, yeah. Hope to see you next time for more one of the warships or whatever comes up on this channel. I do loads of variety these days. We'll see what happens. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you next time.